to talk about how you play a song by Ricky Martin called Vita. And we end up cabling this on third fret to kind of match the recording. But we'll start off kind of walking through a couple things in reposition. And it's really this cool rhythmic idea actually start, that kind of starts on a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger goes to the D on the second fret, and third finger goes to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really happy. Now around C's in general, it can be kind of cool to lift the first finger, maybe not a C major seven. Very groovy sound. Or you can add in the pinky on the B string third, C major nine. Very cool. So you can kind of say some things around the C chord. Or another way to play C major nine would be doing first finger on the D second fret, second finger on the A string third fret, third finger on the B third fret, and the pinky on the high E third fret. And if you show them the A string to the high E string, it sounds a C major nine. So you may kind of dig on that voicing for your C. And then from the C, we'll be going to an F major chord. It's all about a couple easy ways to do this. But if you know the bar F, you do your first finger across the entire first fret, second finger on the G second fret, third finger on the A third fret, and the pinky on the D third fret. And if you strum all those together, ah, oh, the beautiful sounds of F major. Um, now, if you're just starting out, a couple other options actually. You could do an F major seven, where you do first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the G second fret, and third finger on the D third fret. If you strum the D string to the high E string, ah, very groovy sound of F major seven. Or another option would be to do something called F major thirteen, where you do first finger on the G second fret, second finger on the D third, third finger on the B third, and the pinky on the high E third. And kind of work that. That way you can kind of work your C major nine to the F major thirteen without actually having to move three and four. So you kind of dig on that. You may want to follow that groove. And then from the C, we're, we're going to be going back to our G chord or to a G chord. And the way you play G major, first finger goes to A on the second fret, second finger on the D E third fret, third finger on the C and E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, ah, oh, it sounds a G major chord. It sounds really happy. Now you may also kind of dig on kind of putting the third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, kind of working that for your G major. That way you could actually leave that three and four down through the whole tune. Actually, that kind of C da 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 F C da 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 G C da da F C da 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 G. Now there's a couple different um, rhythm options there through the tune. You could try just kind of a down idea, kind of a C two three F one two three four five could be kind of a cool idea, kind of a three plus five idea. So C F C one two three G one two three four five, or you could just do four on each. And I know it's a really fast tempo tune. You may have to kind of adjust that, you know, depending on your skill level. Um, or one of my favorite strum patterns for a four four like this. Is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the C and just tried that a lot. Down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And because the chords are going by really fast, you may want to just kind of take half of that pattern, just the down, down, up, and kind of try working the chords about it. Sounds like you take the C though and do a down, up, up, down, up. So down, and actually, I, I always want to fill this in. Kind of a down, up, down, up, up, down, up. It's almost kind of a variation. Down, up, down, up. sounds like on the F and the G, it's almost kind of like a down up, down up, actually. Or a down up, up, down up. Could be kind of cool too. So down up, down up, up, down up. F.
way that works for you. Or for myself, actually, it was kind of digging on kind of a 16th note feel to this. And this is playing against the tune slightly, but you may dig on it. Um, and what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot at the beat, right now we're kind of using an eighth note feel, kind of dividing that, that foot tap into two parts. One, two, one, two. That's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up pattern. And what I mean by that is if you take the C and do it down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you'd be doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you'd be going one, two, three, four, down, 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 down. Then on the third beat, you'd be doing an up on two, down on three. So one, two, three, four. right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, 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 down, up. So all together, you'd have down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And just like the down, down, up, up, down, you can do a half pattern idea on that, kind of a down, 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 up on each chord. Ricky Martin, instead of starting on a C chord, he's starting on an E flat major chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on third fret, then now your C is really an E flat major, and your F is really an A flat major, and the G is really a B flat major. But to take it from the very beginning, you can kind of work even that down idea, kind of that C, F, C, G, kind of four on each, or three plus five way to kind of try and match it too. Or you can do the down, down, up, up, down, up and have the C, down, up, F, down, up, C, down, up, G, down, up. Or you can split the pattern. Up, down, C, down, down, G, on the up. Up, down, C, on the down, down, the up. Up, down, C, on the down, down, the up. Up, down. Or you can try that variation. I know that's really quick, but kind of that down, up, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, up, down, up. down of the down down up up down up you can throw in a bass for the chord so on the C you'd have the A for the bass on the F bar you'd have low E for the bass on the F major 7 you'd have the D for the bass and on the G you'd have low E for the bass so you can do what we're kind of a bass down up just to kind of try that kind of C down up F bass down up C bass down up G bass down up C bass down up F bass down up C bass down up G low E bass or you can split the pattern and Keep the bass, kind of a bass down for the up, up, down, C with the A bass, down, G on the up, up, down, C with the A bass, down for the up, up, down, C with the A bass, down, G on the up, down, C with the A bass, C, G, C, G, C, G. Or if you're kind of digging on that, that 
variation. You could even work it as a bass up, down, up, up, down, up, bass up, up, bass up, up, bass up, down.